Hey, lovely viewers welcome to my channel Pastime Shows. Explosive twists on days of our lives, Chad, Kat, and JJ take down Clyde, Leo's fatal mistake, and Doug's heartbreaking. Goodbye. In a roller coaster week for Days of Our Lives fans, Chad and Kat enlist JJ as a daring decoy to trap Clyde, but Leo's colossal blunder throws their plan into chaos. Meanwhile, Doug's devastating death date is revealed, leaving Salem reeling with grief. Sarah faces an unwelcome guest, Kristen loses control, and a shocking twist with tainted cupcakes leaves viewers gasping. Plus, Lonnie and Eli return with life-altering news, Hope and Sean share a crushing loss, and Ava's ominous warning to Brady sets the stage for more drama. Don't miss what's next for Gabby and a surprise reunion for Tate and Holly with Sophia. Leo makes a big error when Chad and Kat enlist, spoiler, to help take down Clyde. Rafe is adamant about leaving the Salem Police Department, Kayla tells Paulina that the cupcakes were tainted, and JJ and Gabby enjoy another moment on today's episode of Days of Our Lives. Bonnie informs Kate about the new lady whistleblower in Horton Square, who revealed Leo's scripts in her column. But Leo believes he knows who it is. In addition to the poisoned cupcakes, Kate is shocked by this and wants she know who did it. Bonnie believes it's Hattie Adams and that she knows. If Bonnie is correct, Kate advises her to take this tip to the station. Rafe visits Jada at the Salem Police Department. She wonders whether he has changed his mind about quitting and expresses her happiness that he is here. He arrived to drop off his pistol and badge, but he hasn't. After a restful night's sleep, Jada hoped he might change his mind. Rafe feels more certain than ever now. Why? Jada asks. According to Rafe, Roman made it clear that he could sue Paulina for firing him after he was hurt on the job. Will he sue, she wonders. After years of service, he can't work for a department that would treat him this way, but he doesn't want to bother any of them. Although Jada notes that they have previously collaborated, Rafe claims that things are different now. This is about his macho pride, Jada believes. How can this not be about his pride when he claims to have been demoted? He doesn't want Jada to quit, but she keeps saying she will. She is a fantastic supervisor and an incredible police officer. But you don't want to work for me, Jada continues. Rafe doesn't want to wind up harboring a secret grudge against her. For what reason was he also almost slain while performing his duties? To destroy their relationship while working in these conditions? She is more significant to him than a career, so he interprets this as a message to pursue other endeavors. She queries whether he would return if she asked him to stay because she needed him here. Rafe is unable to respond to Jada when Paulina shows up. She alerts Jada and Rafe about the contaminated cupcakes and tells Jada they are having problems. No one on the show is aware of this until she hands them the card that was included with the cupcakes. Rafe is told by Paulina to go to the hospital and begin his investigation. Rafe tells that because he is leaving the Salem Police Department for personal reasons, Jada will have to find someone else. He leaves after telling Jada that he will see her at home. Paulina finds this unbelievable. Rafe is upset about the demotion, Jada explains, and he doesn't want the job to get in the way of their relationship. They must identify the person who poisoned the cast, even if Paulina didn't want this when she retained Jada as commissioner. When Kate shows up, she believes she knows. Kate warns them that Hattie Adams might be the culprit. To make sure it wasn't merely food poisoning, Jada advises that they wait for the results of the blood test. When Paulina phones Kayla, she verifies that the cupcakes were contaminated, but not to the point where anyone would be seriously harmed. Jada promises to put an APB out on Hattie after gathering her crew. Leo accuses Javi of being a lady whistleblower at Gabby Chic and warns him that he won't get away with it. 
Leo reveals that he thinks he is the new gossip writer in town ruining Javi's soap opera because Javi doesn't know who that is. Leo informs him that he discovered him this morning with his laptop, which he claimed had all of his plots. Leo explains that he informed Javi he needed a second job, but Javi finds it hard to believe he is accusing him of this. As a bartender, not a gossip columnist, Javi explains, Leo screams that some of the ideas are so novel that he just jotted them down, but Javi says someone in the cast might be doing this. He knows it was Javi because of this. Leo claims that he genuinely liked him and felt a bond with him. Javi shared this opinion, but Leo believes that Javi just accompanied him in order to use him. You're right, I confess, Javi admits, adding that he moved up with his cousin and traveled to town two days after his mother passed away in order to see him and start a gossip column. Despite the fact that he failed English in the 12th grade and has terrible grammar. However, he wooed him, waited for him to shower, and then committed everything to memory on his laptop. Then he came here and released it all in the 10 minutes since he left his room. Javi claims that he only fell for a world-class jerk. The fact that he would no longer touch him with a 10-foot pole while thinking about having sex with him on this desk is unbelievable to Javi. He tells Leo to leave. Leo sulks and walks out. JJ is run into by Gabby outside the Brady pub. How is his hand doing, she asks. He thanks her for the ice and says it's better. Have you found out why EJ dropped the charges against the Abigail imposter, she says. JJ says he did it at Chad's request. Why, she wonders. JJ discloses that he believes Chad will regret the arrangement that Clyde made with him. JJ tells her about the exchange of Abigail's remains for Kat. JJ doesn't think Chad would give Kat back, though, and Kat says she only did what she did to save her mother's life because she began to care about Chad. Gabby questions whether Kat and Clyde could still be collaborating. She might be a double agent who intends to transfer Chad directly to Clyde, according to JJ, who believes it's possible. And what will he do? Asks Gabby. JJ apologizes for throwing this on her, but he has no idea. Chad could be in over his head, but he wants to find Abigail and put Weston away. It worries Gabby about him. JJ claims he'll figure things out because he's a qualified police officer. He gives her another thank you for listening. She claims she is here to support him and his family in any way she can. She claims that Clyde destroyed her life as well, and she would love to make amends. If there is anything she can do, JJ promises to let her know. She hopes he has luck. Cat and Chad are pacing the Horton residence when Chad's phone calls and Clyde answers. He informs Clyde that Cat believes he has forgiven her and is unaware that he is giving her to him in order to get retribution. Clyde is informed by Chad that he comprehends and will await his next set of instructions. As Mr. and Mrs. D. Mara, Chad tells Cat that Clyde wants them to check into a hotel, and he will let them know the address later. This bothers the cat. They should play a game of their own as she has been playing Clyde's game for a while. According to Cat, they will be sitting ducks if they stay at that motel. They can, however, wait for Clyde to arrive and bust him if they have someone else check in as them. Chad inquires as to where they may locate two individuals to serve as the decoys. Cat says her brother could assist. Chad won't do anything more to liberate the man who attempted to kill him. Then, Cat says, who will they use? When JJ enters, Chad says to Cat, not him, it's too dangerous. JJ queries what's happening. They are attempting to keep ahead of the game by sending in decoys, and Chad informs him of Clyde's new directives. Chad warns him that this is going to be risky, but JJ insists he's in. JJ is aware yet unconcerned. Chad asks if he has any ideas and says they need someone to play Mrs. Chad DeMera. JJ believes he does. 
he recalls meeting Leo at the bistro's bar while he is back at Gabby Chic. He takes his phone out and checks Leo's contact details. When Gabby comes back, she says she's relieved Leo is gone. Javi removes Leo's contact from his phone and informs her that he and Leo are done. Leo tells Bonnie at Horton Square that he addressed the spoiler and that he made a grave error. Then, on Days of Our Lives, Sophia is cheered up by someone while Sarah attempts to walk. It's devastating that Days of Our Lives has finally revealed Doug's death date. We were aware that Doug's big Days of Our Lives farewell was almost approaching. It was revealed long ago that it will be featured in the show's 15,000th episode, along with a list of names that seem to go on forever and who would return. Although it hasn't been made explicit when he will die on screen, we could tell that the Peacock soap opera was getting us ready for it. However, we now know when we will lose him, next Thursday, Thanksgiving, thanks to the show's spoilers for the upcoming week. Since Jack, Jennifer, Eli, and Lonnie will all be home for the holiday, we assumed it would work out that Doug's family would already be together. However, that certainly adds a layer of suffering and heartache to a time of year when families from all over the nation join together. For Julie, the Hortons, and the Williams family, Thanksgiving will never be the same again. Because Sean and Hope will likewise be shocked by the news by the next day. Additionally, if our estimates are accurate, the show's massive homage to the daytime legend will air the 15,000th episode on Monday. It appears that the 15,000th will be more like to Victor's Farewell, where we were treated to flashbacks with almost everyone on canvas, rather than necessarily being the burial. Additionally, Suzanne Rogers' 50th anniversary on Days of Our Lives coincided with that departure. As Days of Our Lives reflects on 15,000 episodes on NBC and Peacock, 59 years of Salem, and more than 50 years of our favorite con artist turned family man, Doug Williams, we can expect Thanksgiving to be just the beginning of his farewell. And this year, we may all be grateful for this historical journey, at the very least. Days of Our Lives Wednesday, November 20th Recap, APB on Hattie, Javi Dumps Leo, and JJ offers to be Chad's decoy. According to Wednesday, November 20th spoilers for Days of Our Lives, J.J. Devereaux saw Gabby Hernandez outside the bar and gave her information about Chad DeMera's request for E.J. DeMera to dismiss the charges against Cat Green. J.J. suspected that Cat might be a double agent posing as Chad and explained the issue to Clyde Weston. Gabby reassured J.J. that everything was okay, after he apologized for dumping all of this on her. Gabby acknowledged that she thought Abigail DeMera should be allowed to rest in peace and that she missed her. JJ couldn't think of anything she could do to assist, but he was grateful for the opportunity to talk. Gabby pondered if there was anything she could do. On Wednesday's episode of Days, Clyde called Chad at the Horton residence and gave him instructions. The plan was for Chad and Kat to check into a hotel as Mr. and Mrs. Chad DeMera but Clyde promised to get back to them with a time and place. After Chad disconnected, Kat was concerned that if they followed Clyde's instructions, they would be in hot water. It might give Clyde the advantage and prevent them from learning anything about Kat's hostage mother or the whereabouts of Abigail. To gain an advantage, Kat proposed sending a couple decoys to check in so they could keep an eye out for Clyde. Although Chad supported the idea, he rejected Kat's proposal to include Mark Green in the scheme. JJ insisted on helping out as soon as he showed up and learned about the decoy situation. JJ most likely intended to ask Gabby to play Abigail because he was clearly going to be Chad's decoy and had a suggestion for someone who could assist. On Wednesday's Days of Our Lives show, Bonnie Kiriakis attempted to persuade Kate Roberts Brady that Hattie Adams was responsible for the tainted cupcakes in the town center. Ray Fernandez refused to let Jada Hunter persuade him to leave the force after turning in his weapon at the Salem Police Department. Rafe didn't want to jeopardize their connection because he had predicted the animosity that would develop between them if he continued to work for Jada. 
Rafe told Paulina Price that he was quitting from his position as lead detective in the case of the poisoned cupcake. Despite her displeasure, Paulina instructed Jada to designate her next top detective in its place. When Kate finally made an appearance on Wednesday's episode of Days, she gave an explanation for why Hattie might be at fault. Paulina received proof that the cupcakes were, in fact, poisoned after Kayla Johnson gave her the findings of the tests she had conducted. Paulina pretended that this might still be an attempted murder investigation, even though there were fortunately not enough toxins to cause any serious injury. Since everything was pointing to vindictive Hattie thus far, Jada finally issued an APB against her. Javi Hernandez at Gobby's office had no idea what Leo Stark was accusing him of. Leo maintained that all of the plot facts on his laptop were only accessible to Javi. Leo maintained his conviction that his new boyfriend was posing as Lady Whistleblower and revealing all of his stories, even though Javi denied stealing anything. Javi made fun of Leo by guiding him through his fake confession and demonstrating the absurdity of his notion. Javi's arrival in Salem two days earlier, when he was grieving for his mother, meeting Leo, learning about some strange show, and stealing his stories to ruin them didn't make sense. Additionally, Javi didn't have enough time to commit all the information to memory and write a lady whistleblower post about it right away. Although Leo eventually acknowledged that he had wrongly blamed the wrong person, Javi believed it was too late to reverse this. Leo was compelled to leave after Javi made it apparent that they were done and threatened to call security. On Wednesday's episode of Days, Javi shocked Gabby by telling her that he was done with Leo when she returned to the office. Javi removed Leo's contact after bringing it up on his phone. Bonnie inquired about Leo's encounter with his lady whistleblower phony suspect after they met. Leo appeared worried about blowing things with Javi and felt he had made a big mistake. Leo and Javi still have a future together, according to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, but it will take some time and forgiveness for them to get back on track. Days of Our Lives Week of November 25th Jack's heartbreaking Doug discovery, Lonnie and Eli's return, Hope and Sean's sad news. Days of Our Lives spoilers for the week of November 25th to 29th indicate that Ray Hernandez will become Javi Hernandez's confidant and that Jada Hunter will have to deal with some new demands from Paulina Price. While Johnny DiMera will be busy seeking advice from EJ DiMera across town, Javi will confide in Rafe about all the drama with Leo Stark and receive some guidance. EJ might encourage Johnny to move on from his betrayal and try to move on with Chanel DiMera despite his mounting guilt. Joy Wesley will become anxious after telling Alex Kariakis about her covert hookup. Joy will have to beg Alex to keep his lips shut. Steve Johnson and Justin Kiriakis will help the community by preparing several dinners for the food bank once Thanksgiving arrives in Salem. The Kiriakis estate will also host a holiday feast, which will make for an entertaining days of our live celebration. Paulina will receive some incredible updates from Chanel. Will Chanel acknowledge that Eli and Lonnie Grant will be spending Thanksgiving at home? Paulina should be thrilled to see Lonnie and Eli with the twins as it appears likely that they will return to Salem, according to Day's spoilers. Returning to EJ, he will seek an apology from Gabby Hernandez for recently slapping him in the town square and putting him on full blast. Will Gabby say, I'm sorry, or at the very least admit that EJ wasn't the only reason her marriage ended? According to teasers for Day's, Kat and Chad DeMera's plan for Clyde Weston will encounter an unforeseen obstacle across town, forcing them to decide what to do next. Jack Devereaux and Jennifer Horton Devereaux will return to the Horton home to enjoy Thanksgiving with their loved ones. Unfortunately, Thanksgiving will become gloomy when Jack discovers Doug Williams dead in bed and tells Julie Williams that he has died. Julie will have many people to rely on, even though she will feel as though her entire world has fallen apart. There will be many tears and fond memories shared as word spreads about Doug's passing around Salem. According to previews for days, 
Hope Brady and Sean Brady will return to the screen as Doug's grieving process commences. Hope and Sean will console one another while they come to terms with Doug's terrible destiny. Kayla Johnson will next receive some information on John Black from Marlena Evans. We'll give you further predictions regarding Marlena's anxieties because that can include worry about John disappearing after assisting with a specific ISA case. According to previews for Days of Our Lives, the week of November 25th to 29th will feature both highs and lows for the Thanksgiving celebration and funeral planning. Days of Our Lives spoilers for Thursday, November 21st, Ava warns Brady when Kristen, Sarah's unwanted visitor, goes crazy. According to Thursday, November 21st spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Holly Jonas will witness a new side of Tate Black. Will this be a positive or negative development? Holly may experience an epiphany as a result of her and Tate's awkward interaction with Sophia Choi and Aaron Green. Holly may be willing to give Tate the intense experience he's longing for after Sophia rants about him calling her name in bed. When the moment comes, that might undoubtedly present Tate in a completely different light. According to Day's teasers, Aaron will make an effort to make Sophia happy. Given how things turned up with Tate, Sophia will be feeling very depressed, but Aaron might be able to cheer her up a little. Aaron might finally be able to persuade Sophia to date him instead if he can be charming enough. If everything goes according to plan, Sophia and Aaron might both update their love status. According to teasers for other days, Brady Black will receive a harsh scolding from Ava Vitali. Ava might raise the alarm if she thinks Brady is really thinking about seeing Kristen DeMera again. Brady has acknowledged that he would never be able to completely rule out that possibility due to Rachel Black, but Ava might present a compelling argument for why he should. In any event, Kristen will be busy bugging Sarah Kiriakis in her hospital room, according to Day's teasers. It appears that Kristen might attempt to coerce Sarah into getting out of bed and encouraging her to try walking. Maybe Kristen will want to show Brady that her nice act was worthwhile. In any case, Xander Kiriakis will not like Kristen's aggressive behavior and will eventually expel her. Kristen will discover Ava and Brady cuddling up to each other at some point in the upcoming DOOL episode or two, so that information will raise some questions regarding their developing relationship. She'll definitely give walking another go once she's back with Sarah, but she'll probably prefer to do it without Kristen watching. Sarah will be determined to regain her mobility after the serum injection, even though she will find it difficult to move forward. According to spoilers for Days of Our Lives, Sarah's perseverance will eventually pay off, therefore we'll provide you with additional recovery predictions. Preview of Days of Our Lives spoilers, Tate and Holly see Sophia, and Sarah gets a startling visitor. Sarah has a shock prior to surgery. Days of Our Lives spoilers for the November 21, 2024, episode hint at unrest in the town square and a startling pre-surgery visitor. Salem Scenes Although it appears that Meiji will accompany Sarah before to her major operation, she won't be the only guest. Xander seems to be attempting to eject Kristen from Sarah's room when she arrives at the hospital. The situation appears to rapidly become amicable, but why would Kristen be there? While Sarah undergoes surgery, Xander and Brady will also appear to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Holly and Tate, meantime, have literally made up and kissed at the home. However, it's impossible to predict Sophia's reaction when the pair encounters Aaron and Sophia on the square. November 21st Spoilers for Days of Our Lives was Sarah's treatment effective? Was Xander's marriage at peril for no reason? Thursday and November 21st spoilers for Days of Our Lives eventually test Dr. Rolf's miraculous remedy. After all, we currently just have his word that he has found the solution to everything. Of course, the man can cure death, so he should have no trouble with some mild paralysis. But will Sarah respond to his treatment? up and at M. In order to procure Sarah medication that would allow her to walk again, Xander was prepared to kill. 
In addition, he was prepared to politely beg and give up his company. Was it worth it, though? Kayla did indeed follow all of Dr. Rolf's recommendations, but perhaps she was overlooking something important. Now is the moment to find out as Sarah tries to walk for the first time, possibly with Victoria. However, we're not holding our breath, the child has simply been a wrapped blanket thus far. With the intent to commit crime. Brady and Ava have been chummy lately, have they not? Ava feels quite justified in expressing her feelings to Brady on some of his recent behavior because he is so chummy. According to Ava, he shouldn't have suggested to Kristen that he might think about reconciling with her provided she gave Dr. Rolf's serum to Xander and Sarah without any conditions. Brady now appears to have all the strings in his favor. Furthermore, Ava doesn't believe that elevates him above her. Those are battle words. Square four. Sophia was respectable enough to refuse a man who didn't want her. Sophia left when Tate addressed her by Holly's name. She isn't necessarily happy about having just had sex with a man who was merely considering her as a backup plan. To console her, Aaron is present. He's a good man. And everyone is aware of where they end. Holly, on the other hand, should be overjoyed that Tate is prepared to pardon her and reconcile. However, she likes to create drama when none exists. She is now having a new problem with Tate. On November 20th, Days of Our Lives, JJ teams up with Chad and Kat to fight Clyde. On Days, Kat devised a strategy to assist them in solving their Clyde issue. But they will require assistance. Come on in JJ and maybe Gabby. What might go wrong? Chad received a call from Clyde on the Wednesday in November 20th episode of Days of Our Lives. As a married couple, the fugitive wanted them to check into a hotel of his choosing. Kat came up with the idea to send in decoys to pose as them. Chad was immediately receptive to the concept. But they would require assistance. Attack strategy. Even though Chad saw right away that Kat's proposal was the best course of action, they would obviously require assistance. Two persons opposing as them would be required to check in, after which, as Kat informed Chad, we can keep our distance. When Clyde comes to get me, we may watch and reverse the situation. The decoys. Enter JJ, who spent the most of this episode whining to Gabby about how unhappy he was that Kat was no longer incarcerated. Given what Gabby had previously done to Abby and Chad, it was difficult to hear Gabby admit that she felt sorry for Chad and even mentioned that she missed Abigail. She is purportedly trying a completely different perspective on life, though. In the end, she assured JJ that she was available to him for whatever. Chad and Kat, meantime, talked about the necessity of locating decoys. In fact, Kat proposed that Mark be released from prison for this. Chad swiftly and sensibly rejected that idea. Kat even mentioned that as a possibility, which is sort of funny. Despite their apparent desperation, they are not so desperate. JJ interrupted Chad and Kat while they were still solidifying their plan. Even though Chad informed JJ of their plans, he was hesitant to accept JJ's offer of assistance. It was too risky, he said. JJ used to be a police officer. He is better equipped than Chad to face Clyde. JJ suggested to count him in any case. We are aware that he is acting in this way to secure Clyde and shield Chad from people like Cat Green. He claimed to know someone when Chad asked him whether he knew somebody who might be the decoy wife. This implies that he will surely have Gobby's assistance, right? She had just offered to be there for JJ, after all. Does this proposal have the strength that Chad and Kat believe it does? How do you feel about Gabby and JJ maybe being decoys? Furthermore, Leo looks absurd for accusing Javi, doesn't he? Or does he have a point? Is this a lengthy scam?
what were your thoughts on Rafe actually leaving the force? Should he remain and report to Jada the commish, or is he justified? The tainted cupcakes cause the shocking days of our lives to turn upside down. There is another suspect, even though Javi and Hattie appear to be the most likely to have leaked body and soul schemes from Leo's laptop. On the November 19th episode of Days of Our Lives, Kayla told Kate and Roman, don't tell me we are dealing with tainted baked goods again. It turns out that eating poisoned cupcakes that were unexpectedly brought to the body and soul workers is making individuals quite sick. Despite the widespread belief that Hattie was the culprit, there is another potential suspect. Given that BNS spoilers from Leo's laptop have also been made public, there may be a connection between the poisoning and the leak. Now, who might it be? By now, you would think that delicious baked goodies would be forbidden in Salem. When it came to consuming the enigmatic cupcakes, certain individuals exercised prudent caution. Does anyone recall the laced donuts the Reading Club gobbled up or the Sweet Bits cookies that Talia tainted with an aphrodisiac? Leo is inconsolable for another reason as the tale of the laced cupcakes unfolds. His laptop scripts were compromised, and over the course of the following month, someone going by the handle Lady Whistleblower exposed every BNS plot point. Leo accused Javi of stealing and sharing the spoilers from his laptop. However, that is too clear, and furthermore, he has no other motivation than his need for money. Why would Javi want to harm Leo when he adores him? The laptop also included unwritten ideas that were disclosed in LW's column. However, someone else is capable of breaking into Leo's hotel room and stealing data from his laptop. Gwen Rizik is someone who has a strong desire to exact revenge on Leo. It's necessary to break some eggs. Let's be honest, Leo's romance with Gwen's husband, Dimitri, destroyed her chances of happiness. After she and Xander went to great lengths to blackmail the Spectator newspaper out of Jack and Jennifer's hands, she eventually left town and sold her part of the paper. She could have tried something different with cupcakes, learning from the biscuit fiasco. Additionally, Gwen will return at some point because Emily O'Brien was there at the most recent Day of Days fan celebration. For Gwen, ruining BNS for Leo would be the cherry on top. She has a lengthy history of transgressions, and we wouldn't rule out her making a number of people ill in order to exact revenge on Leo. After all, making an omelet requires breaking a few eggs. And it looks like Gwen would love this plan. Here is Gobby's future on Days of Our Lives. Now that Stefan is no longer involved, Sherry Jimenez described the new course Gabby will be taking. Since Stefan is no longer a part of Days of Our Lives, Gabby has had to learn how to go on without him. To Gobby's dismay, her brother Rafe is back on his feet, and her cousin Javi is in Salem with her and is seeing Leo. Sherry Jimenez talked candidly about where her character would go with Gobby's new path. New Paths In an interview with Soap Opera Digest, Jimenez disclosed that she hasn't had many reasons to feel joyful since she began portraying Gabby. Nonetheless, she is hopeful about Gobby's future with the new authors Paula Quickly and Jean Marie Ford. I am thrilled for everyone to witness the next phase of Gobby's life, she continued because I believe that by closing that door and taking a different course, she will be able to welcome new things into her life. Having Javi appear on the canvas is a wonderful change of pace and signifies Gabi's new path after her life took a depressing turn due to her divorce from Stefan and other plans, including EJ's wrongdoings. New people and relationships in her life are going to bring out different parts of Gabi, she said. Thus, she will have more chances to smile in the future. Family and career are important. According to Jimenez, Gabby will be concentrating on her job, life, and her goals now that she is not dealing with the hurt of Stefan cheating on her with Ava. She said, there's going to be a very career-driven Gabby, adding that Gabby's family would eventually come first. Jimenez is excited about the path the authors are taking her character and eager to see how the audience responds. 
She said, I think that if she can close that door and go in a different direction, new things will be able to enter her life. For more of the latest updates and behind-the-scenes secrets from Days of Our Lives, make sure to hit subscribe and ring that bell. Stay in the know with every new release.